Have you ever wondered how much bandwidth there was between two of your machines? Well, I'm gonna show you how to find out and it is way easier than you probably think, thanks to a tool called iPerf3. To start, let's start the server side. So on the server machine, I'm gonna just run iPerf3-S. This is gonna use the default port of 5201, which does mean it needs to be unfirewalled. And if you want more instructions on how to get through that, check out the longer version of this video. On the client side, We'll just start out with a very basic TCP based test. So iperf3, don't want to forget that three, dash C to put it in client mode, and then the name of the remote host. So in this case, the machine's name is Picard. So you can see the results here. Each second will get a printout, and iperf3 in this default mode with TCP will try to jam as much data through the pipe as it can. So it'll tell you how much bandwidth you have. If you want to test UDP, all you need to do is add a dash U flag. Now you may have noticed that it gave me about one megabit per second bandwidth, which is much lower than what I would expect. So it seems like something's throttling, but it's actually not. This is just the default behavior of iperf3. We need to tell iperf3 to do unlimited bandwidth. To do that, we just add a dash B zero flag. And here we go. Now you may have noticed that the standard out was not going on my client side here. Well, the reason for that is that I'm using Mosh, which is a UDP based version of SSH. It's oversimplification, but uh, it uses UDP as well. So when iperf3 was generating all that UDP traffic for me, it was saturating the connection and there was not enough bandwidth available for Mosh to send its packets. That's why it froze for a moment. But you can see I got a whole lot more bandwidth through this time, which is, is good. Thanks.